g'day, g'day. And how you go, and just say g'day, 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 and you'll be right. You're back again? I'll be back, g'day. Eh? Well, all right then, seeing you here, you're always welcome. Absolutely welcome here in the bush shed. Let's make another project. It's going to be another Christmas present. Well, seeing it's the season to be jolly and all that kind of stuff, let's get the old Christmas presents happening. Now, see on the bench the old James Clive's? I'm not advertising them. And no, they're empty because I took the bottles out. You don't need to know what I did with the bottles, but I took the bottles out. Because, you know, it ain't kind of sad drunk. Oh, it's a silly thing to spit it on your way all the way. Sorry. I'm good. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> We're going to make one of these, but out of wood. Alright. Hopefully it'll look like that. Hopefully. Let's crack on with it, eh? Hey, what are we going to need? Well, basically, any type of wood you want. I'm going to use that, because that's quite wide enough for that. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to be using part of an old, 50-year-old wine crate. Look at that. Hey, down the side. It's going to look bloody nice. It really is. And, of course, you can't do anything without something to sit the, the old bottles on, eh? Hey? So, basically... I've got a whole heap of timber here, you know, and we're going to just use what we have to make one of these beer carriers. All right. My pop used to call it hugrum bugrum. Throw everything together and hope to God it tastes good. Usually when he did it, it tasted bloody brilliant. <laughs> this time we're doing it with timber. All right, let's get on with it, eh? Measurements, I'll call them out as we're going. All right. All righty. Let's go an even 250, alright? An even 250. Write this down. Which is approximately 9 and 3 quarter inches. There you go. That one is 125. Which is 4 and a half inches. Close enough. And this one here is going to be 187. Why these are a little bit out and different is because I'm going to use the box as my template. Main reason being is because if we're not going to use these bottles and we're going to use other bottles, they might be slightly bigger. So therefore we've got about a mil to play with. So the bottles, you know, we can have slightly bigger bottles. All right. Hey. There's a good little tip there for you, hey. Trust me. I've worked on the, quite a few of these, <laughs> and I've stuffed a few up, so trust me on that. All right? All right. Let's get into it. Here we go. We've got makings of it. So what we've got to do is try and measure out basically this height here. So that is 110. All right. So 110. in America. We call them a garage sale here in Australia. There you go. A couple of very old woodworking squares. That one there. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Nice cast iron handle. And that's good old steel. It's even got measurements on it. Unfortunately you can't read them anymore properly. <laughs> it's that old. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really stoked with these. I've got them five bucks. I got them, and I, when I saw them there, I thought, I'll have those. How much? And he said, oh, he said, 10. I said, no, I've got five bucks on me. He goes, oh, all right, then you can have them. Beauty! <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Right. You don't have to use a dowel. You can use, basically, use that. 
of cotton. That'd be a nice little handle. Or we could use the dowel. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. If it's going to be a dowel, then it's going to come down further because we'll drill a hole through there. And we can't have a hole up there, obviously, so it's got to be down here. Okay? Now we know where to make our cups to. Okay? There you go. That's the dowel size. Okay? So we need to come in out about that much. At least that much. There and there. So we need to draw a line from here to there. Beauty. Great stuff. Alright, what I think we should do now. Sanding. We all love sanding. Let's get into it. Even rounded the edges off there. For the outside, a bit of brand off on the inside there. Come out alright, didn't they? The board came out nice, that's the bottom bit. Two side pieces. Okay, see how we go. that up, eh? I think so. Glue, nails. Brilliant. Little trick. Well, it's not really a trick. It's just what you should do. Always check the size of your nails. Make sure that they're going to go through the board. <laughs> Many times I've done it, I went, oh shit. Wrong size bloody nails. Little trick. Okay, if you're trying to do that, another piece of wood put it on there and you just butt straight up against that piece of wood and that will make sure it's square on the bottom there you go all right it's time to get the side bits on so let's get those on eh there we go what do you think Not half bad, eh? <laughs> Quite pleased with that. But, oh, size. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to put a bit of dowel in there, or do you think we should do something like that? I reckon a bit of dowel. And then again, geez, I'm, I'm kind of. Thinking of the old noggin here. I'll rip this in half and see what happens. What do you reckon? Why not? <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> it's bloody brilliant. All right. Let's get this one out. The very last thing we need to do is to put on the old bottle opener. Now I think the old rustic bottle opener will go well on this one. Let's give that a go. Go on there. I think that'll look great. What do you reckon? Yeah. I agree. Utilising the screw hole for the handle, we can Mount the old bottle opener. Well, there you go. It's all done. Another quick project on the 
Well, shit. I know every time I make a project, it's a long one. Except for the last couple, it's been pretty good, isn't it? Hey? Some nice little ideas for Christmas. Speakerphone, the bottle opener, and now the old six-pack holder. Fantastic. Little uh, bottle opener on the end of there. Hey? Outstanding. Next time you want to come around to the bush shed, give me a call earlier. I'll bugger it. Just turn up. It's all good. You're always welcome. <laughs> My word, yeah. So until the next time, on the bush shed, do we do another project? Take care of yourself. Hooroo. To be an Aussie whenever you're stuck for what to say If you want to be dinky die. Why don't you give it a try? Look them right in the eye and say good day. Good day, good day.